Hey everybody, throughout the course of this course and me making it and me answering student questions, I've had a lot of questions about user interface. And I realized that in the course I'm using my own custom user interface and that is intentional. I want to show you more of a professional setup. And using it the standard way is not the most efficient way, usually. Uh, some people, I guess, prefer it, but if you really want to be efficient, then you need to customize it for your own workflow so you can be fast and you know where everything is and it's all very accessible. So I've had a lot of questions about this little toolbar over here on the right. Now I do make my UI files available for everyone to download. If you look in the resource section of the um, beginning lectures where I talk about UI, it is there is links there to download it for various different setups. Uh, but let me show you how I make these so that you can adjust it yourself if you want. So this toolbar obviously can be dragged and dropped wherever and I call it frequent tools and I just put a bunch of the things that I use a lot in here. Now let me show you how I set this up. What you do is right click anywhere where there is a toolbar area and you hit customize. And If you go to toolbar tab and by the way this is where you customize keyboard you select any of the commands in the entire program and set up a hotkey for them and hit assign. But right now I'm talking about toolbars, so what we do is we hit new toolbar and we name it test. Hit OK. Oh, I already I already did this once, so that's not gonna work. We'll call it test two. Okay, and we'll just set up this little toolbar out here that you can expand like this. Now what you do is you need to search through here for all the various different commands. So here we are in main UI, and this is where you'll find all your extruder, your uh, modifier, sorry. So extrude modifier is something that I use probably more than any other modifier. So let's just look for that, and I believe you can go here and type in E, see if you can do EX. Yes, EXT. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so as you're typing, it's looking for it. We want not these extrude, we want the extrude modifier right there, and it's already got an icon assigned to it, which is great. That means we drag it in here, boom. Now we have a little extrude modifier in our toolbar. Now if these don't have, so say you wanted to drag this one, it would just put the name and you can then edit button, ap button appearance and you can go into here and scroll through here and find any button you want to assign to that. Okay, so let's say we want it like that. It will now change it to that, okay? But a lot of the common tools already have icons applied, and you can just drag them right into that toolbar. Now the hardest part is finding all the commands you want. So as you start using things, you'll realize which ones you use all the time, and you'll think, hey, I need a shortcut for this. So you can either set up a hotkey, or you can set up a little toolbar like I have over here. So then you can just obviously drag this over, like that. You can drag it out again, delete it. Now what I have over here is my most used mostly modifiers which are always accessible here so if we let's see draw a rectangle right now all these modifiers now become highlighted so that I can use them you can put a normal on it which just makes it flat we can use the extrude modifier if we take the normal off boom okay so that's all that is and of course you can always access it here too modify and extrude would be down here boom same thing so it just makes it faster for me I just put all my common tools right here now one other thing that I'm getting questions about is the layers in the new versions of Max so the one I did the main course in was 2011 I believe and it had the old layer manager which was way better than this new thing but Autodesk has decided to quote unquote upgrade and now we're all screwed and we have to live with this. So I hate this new scene explorer, but this is how you do it. You go down here and you make sure you're on layer explorer. When you, and, and this is another toolbar I set up. This is manage layers button. Um, you can usually get into it also by hitting, oh, what's the hotkey? I don't remember. But what you can do is customize and make sure layers is turned on okay 
So that gives you this little layers toolbar. You can hit this guy, manage layers. Make sure you're on layer explorer. It should say layer explorer here, like that. Okay, and then in here, unlike in the old one, it works a little differently. You have to, instead of highlighting your layer like that, to put things on it, you to select it, you make sure these little three planes. That makes it the current layer. And then if you have an object that you want to put onto that layer, let's make a little box. It, it creates it on the current layer. If we want to switch it to this layer now, we do we make that current and then hit plus like that, and it changes it. And now all the objects in that layer are shown as well, and it's a scroll down in that layer like that and you can actually select children so even if this was not selected you could do this and select children I think I don't know how this works let's see okay when I go up to here and make sure select children is on that means when I select this layer now it selects that object now I don't usually actually want that on okay but that is how this works it's and you can nest layers now so I can actually drag this into that layer. Now there's another layer in here. Now that gets really confusing because there's objects and layers in here, but that is what you can do. You can create a new layer here. You can add to active layer. So the buttons they've kind of brought back. If you're using 2015, some of these buttons aren't even here, which makes it even more complicated. But this is how it works. Other than that, it should be pretty self-explanatory if you're used to using the layer manager from before. But actually, you can explore every aspect of your scene in here and now you can nest things. So in theory it was maybe a good idea because you could organize your layers better but in practice it is just much more annoying, much less efficient. So I'm sorry about that but that's not my fault. That is Autodesk. So maybe you like it. I don't know. Um, comment on comment in the discussion board about how you feel about this and if you have any questions about it. But that is how the new layer explorer works. So hopefully that helps and answers some of your questions about UI. And you can make your own toolbars here. I showed you how you can make your own hotkeys. You can always save everything. So toolbars, you can save your setup for your keyboard shortcuts. You can save your stuff. Okay, and then when you want to customize, you can go up here and load custom UI scheme. And you can, well, actually what you want to do is customize and you can go to load, load your load your uh, keyboard, load your toolbars, and that will apply it to your scene. And then you have to make sure that this is all saved when you close down by setting your preferences to do that. Save UI configuration on exit. Make sure that is checked. So that all, your work, all the work you do remains when you shut down Max and comes back when you open it again. So hopefully that's helpful. Put in the discussion forms on the right side of the page on Udemy if you have any questions, and I'll try to get back to you.